Welcome to Business Authority Radio, bringing you insights from today's thought leaders, professionals, and influencers. With your hosts, Neil Howe and Craig Williams. Hello and welcome to the show. This is your host, Neil Howe, and I am here today with Denny Faircloth. Now, Denny is the principal and founder of the Investor's Blueprint. He is a husband, father, entrepreneur, and business strategist. Welcome to the show, Danny. Thank you, Neil. Appreciate you having me on today. Well, let's get right to it. I'm excited. I love to talk about real estate, and uh, we're going to be talking about the investment side of real estate today. So tell us a little bit about the investor's blueprint and the customers that you are serving. Yeah, so as Core, it's a real estate investor education platform, and um, it was founded by myself and my business partner, Peter Pasternak and Brian Tro, who um, you may recognize from A&E's Flip This House. They were the characters uh, out of Atlanta, Georgia. So together, we really, you know, approached the business from a, cu- a couple of different angles. Um, Peter, uh, his really core focus within that partnership is on you know, the, the business development and operations uh, side of the house. And uh, he has just a, an outstanding personality that's infectious and uh, perfect for TV, which is why they were so successful. And Brian is the con- the general contractor, so he does all of the construction side of the house. And, um, you know, together over the last 12 or 13 years, they successfully flipped as investors, hundreds of homes and done construction for other investors. And they literally have never lost a dollar. And um, I actually was a big fan of the show before I ever met them. And I would be watching the show knowing that in the span of, you know, an hour with 20 minutes of commercials. So in 40 minutes, you would see, you know, buying the property all the way through the entire construction and selling it and making, you know, $70,000 in 40 minutes. And we all know, that that didn't really happen. And I was always curious um, what happened behind the scenes. And uh, so I set out to meet these guys uh, many years ago and was fortunate enough to get connected with them. And as we uh, became friends and they became clients of mine uh, and we, that partnership and relationship grew, you know, we really saw an opportunity in the marketplace to fill a huge void in the real estate investor education um, niche. And what I mean by that is most people either, you know, Google it, which comes with really no support and no guidance and no handholding and no help, and you're left to try to figure it out on your own, uh, which most people never actually do anything or take action, or if they do, they end up, you know, having a very negative or a poor experience, losing a lot of money and probably never going back and trying it again. Or the other end of the spectrum is they wind up in one of these, you know, guru programs where they're offered like a free seminar where one of these celebrities is going to be at, uh, you know, an evening at a hotel and they show up and that person is not even there, but they find themselves you know, going from that free evening into a paid weekend for a couple of hundred dollars where they're promised, you know, this rags to riches, you don't need any skills, you don't need any experience, you don't need any money, you don't need any credit. Uh, And we're going to teach you everything you need to know in a weekend to be a successful investor. And when they get there, they're taken through a high pressure sales funnel where they're told they have to interview to see if they qualify you know, for the program that has literally an unlimited number of seats. Uh, and the entire time, all they're doing is looking for where that person has money. If it's on their credit cards, is it in their uh, equity in their home, or is there somewhere else that they can tap for, uh, you know, resources or funds? And then they're left believing that literally if they don't pay ten or twenty or thirty thousand dollars, even upwards of fifty or sixty thousand dollars, that they're gonna be failures, that they're never gonna be successful and that it's never gonna happen for them and that if they don't act now, they won't get that last seat. And the reality is it's all just a high pressure sales funnel. And the people that end up doing that oftentimes 
um, are then inundated with information that they have to then go implement themselves. And most of them still don't take action after spending thirty or fifty thousand dollars. They become consumers of the information, not doers, but consumers. And they consume information and consume information and consume information, but all of their resources are now tied up that they've just spent on the actual program, and it prevents them from being able to invest. So once you've given them all your money, then you're told to go ask your Uncle Harry for some money because you don't have any that's left, and the first thing he's going to do is ask you what kind of experience you have, and you're going to say, None, and then you know, unless you have perfect credit and a down payment, you can't really get into a property. So it becomes a vicious cycle of consuming information and paying for information instead of actually going and getting some experience. So I say all that to say that you know, our goal is instead of you know, charging exorbitant prices for uh, you know, and serving the privileged few that we really wanted to create a platform where anyone and everyone could get the guidance and the support and the training and, and most importantly, the accountability of, you know, actually becoming an, a real estate investor because it is absolutely a phenomenal, you know, way to, to create an income, to um, save for retirement, to build wealth, uh, and there's lots of different strategies, and there is a lot to learn, but, you know, there has to be this balance between learning and doing, and you need a, a support mechanism, and that's really what our goal is to, to um, you know, be that mechanism mm. for people. So um, I don't know if I answered your question. That was a, lo- a long-winded answer. But our core, uh, who we serve, are aspiring real estate investors who need, you know, guidance, training, support, and accountability. Well, you know, I was definitely a fan of the show. I remember watching Peter back a few years ago as well. And I think there's a lot of people out there just like me who have dabbled in real estate and, uh, you know, tried to do a flip or whatever it might be called these days. Um, that I, I wish when I was doing it that I had the support of, you know, somebody that had done it multiple times as well and I wasn't just uh, guessing. So, you know, for somebody like me, um, you know, what are some of the pitfalls that you see beginners go through when they're trying to do this on their own? What are the big things that really hold them back? Um, great question, and one that I um, understand at a personal level because, like you, you know, I saw them on TV, and, and many of the, you know, they were the originals to flip this house, and now there's umpteen spinoffs. But I would watch these shows, and um, you know, I wouldn't even know where to start. Uh, and then, um, unfortunately, my father passed away uh, a little over. Uh, a decade ago, and in that process, I found myself with a mom who couldn't afford the home. So, you know, we moved her out of that home and into a smaller one, and eventually she ended up living with some family, and and now he lives with me, and uh, we're blessed to have her because she helps us take care of our three beautiful children. And uh, in that process, found myself becoming the landlord of a rental and another home that I was trying to fix and flip, which my parents raised us in and didn't have the best experience um, in that process. So, you know, I didn't do it on purpose, but I had a little bit of experience, but I didn't know where to go and where to turn. And I found myself in one of those high pressure guru uh, situations and I, I wasn't going to spend, you know, $50,000 to learn how to invest in real estate. Um, I felt like I would learn as much doing a a deal as I would joining that program. So like I have walked in, in that person's shoes and the biggest obstacles are really fear and confidence. So the fear comes from not, you know, not wanting to, take a huge risk, not wanting to lose money, creating, um, you know, financial instability uh, for your family and not being able to, you know, taking on a bunch of debt or or not being able to retire. So what's funny is the reason that most people want to get into real estate 
from a mindset perspective. And I've mentored th personally thousands of aspiring entrepreneurs and investors, helping them get over the mental challenges of, you know, wanting a, an end result, but but not knowing where to start and what steps to take to get from where they're at today to where they want to be in the future. And the irony is that most people want to become real estate investors because they want to save money or they want to pay off debt or they want um, to secure their financial future. But the thing that keeps them from reaching all of those goals is that their fears revolve around the same things. So they want to secure their financial future and their fear is that they'll fail or they want to pay off debt and their fear is that they'll take on more debt. You know, they, they want to be able to retire and their fear is that they won't be able to because of this decision. So, uh, the irony is that we've got the same kind of emotions pulling them back and forth. Um, and when I say the lack of confidence, which is tied to that fear is that people gain confidence through experiences, developing a skill set, and, um, you know, actually having some wins, succeeding. And the challenge is when you're standing at home plate, staring at the pitcher, you think you have to hit a home run in order to even get started. Like you think you have to know every answer to every question before you even take the first step. And we've all heard the journey of a thousand miles begins with one step. Um, but I think what we don't quite understand is that if when you look down a, you know, a really long road, you can only see so far, but if you keep going, when you get as far as you can see, you can now see further. And it's really helping people adopt that mindset that while I may not know everything I need to know, helping that new uh, investor, you know, get into action and to start doing things that will help them get experience, build skills, uh, and even put some money in their pocket along, along the way. And you can do that without taking on a lot of risk. I can't say that you're not going to take on any. Um, I'll give you an example. There's um, in the very beginning of a real estate investor's transaction, the first, you know, one of the first things you need to do is you need to be able to find deals. Mm -hmm. Well, there are, there's a, something called a wholesaler and that person literally their whole career is just to go find deals and they become masters at marketing, whether it's door knocking, whether it's networking, whether it's, um, you know, using all of these different avenues to actually find working foreclosures, the, you know, courtroom steps, whatever it is, they're, they're looking to find a deal and you can actually put that deal under contract and resell it to an investor before you even commit to it. So you have the option to buy it, but you are not required to buy it. So you don't need any credit and you don't need any money and you don't actually have to even buy it. So you can go to the closing with the seller and you can literally buy it and turn around and sell the piece of paper to someone in the other room five minutes later and make a couple thousand dollars without ever taking any risk whatsoever. So I don't want to imply that you can't make money in real estate without, you know, putting up money. You can, but you still have the risk of your time. So you don't have to know it all and you don't have to take huge risk, but you do have to do it. And if, and if wholesaling is a good place for you to start, and I'm not saying that it is, I'm just giving you one example of a million different strategies where, you know, that person can get in for very little to no money and put in some sweat equity and make some money and learn a valuable skill because as they develop as an investor, they may find out they love doing that and they'll just do that forever. Or they may grow into a different role where they become the investor and they don't have time to go find deals, but that skill set will be very valuable, you know, for the rest of their career. So um, it's really all about helping someone, you know, develop the skills and get some experience and take some action towards their goal and then holding their hand as they continue to evolve and as they continue to develop um, and being with them each step of the way so that they can grow over time and they don't necessarily feel overwhelmed by having to know it all before they even get started. Mm. 
So there's definitely lots of ways to get started in real estate. Wholesaling seems to be the one that uh, most of these programs push. But uh, speaking of all the different uh, real estate investment programs out there, um, you know, and Peter having the recognition of being on television himself with Brian, why now? Why is now the time to, you know, put your own program together? And what makes it different than these other ones? Well, in the past, um, you know, Peter and Brian have been asked a million times, you know, why they're not training and why they're not out there, um, you know, had put together a program like that. And the reality is twofold. One, they didn't have time to do it because they are actually still real estate investors and general contractors and enjoy doing that. So, you know, you can't be on a job site and on a stage at a conference at the same time. So many of those, you know, would be uh, celebrity or guru trainers haven't actually done a real estate deal in years, if not over a decade. So they're teaching what they used to do, which may or may not even be current today. And, and that is not all of them, but a lot of them. So Peter Bryan didn't want to take away from their, their core business as real estate investors because that's what they had a passion for and wanted to be when they grow up. And, and it also would require, as I just mentioned, that you travel and that you're, you know, around the country in different cities doing different things. And, uh, you know, they have families that they like to spend time with and couldn't take time away from their family and their business to go do that. Nor did they want to charge someone, you know, $50,000 for them to teach them. Not that someone couldn't, you know, make $50,000 in real estate. They can but generally, the risk and reward when you get to asking someone to spend that kind of money on their education is way out of whack. And it's far more tilted towards the celebrity guru trainer's bank account than it is the aspiring investor's success. So while Peter um, and myself and Brian all have a huge heart for helping people and a passion for mentoring people and, help, and, and being a resource for them and seeing other people succeed um, – you know, it couldn't be done at the detriment to that person and our own business. So really this, the genesis of this entire uh, concept came from a conversation with Peter and I where uh, I do a lot of mentoring using and training using the Internet, using video, using social media, using digital information, and, um, and delivering things online. So... Um, that's really the marriage of my expertise with that platform uh, and the advancements in technology as of late but with Peter and Brian's real estate background that allowed us to, to really reach a, a much broader audience. And using that technology, we can keep all of our costs down, which allows us to keep the price down and reach a lot more people and serve a lot more people so that's really uh, was the genesis of this conversation. What sets us apart, aside from just the price, um, is that we're really creating not just information. So it's, you know, it's guidance and, and support and accountability. It's like having a virtual mentor. Uh, but instead of just being limited to ourselves, what we're doing is we're creating this online community. It's a private community that, you know, no one gets access to unless you're, you know, in the tribe. Uh, that's what we at the Investors Blueprint like to call uh, our community. And to get into that, you know, once you're in, you'll have access not to just training. Or our goal isn't to bury you in a mountain of inf information that you have to go implement yourself, but you'll have access to um our community, which includes wholesalers and, and lenders and hard money people and uh, contractors and real estate uh, professionals and, and all the property managers, attorneys, uh, vendors, like all of these people in this community all bring a different skill set and a different dynamic. So when you get involved in the community, not only will you have Peter and Brian and myself 
you know, answering questions, doing Q and A's, doing live events, doing, you know, mentoring and, and working with people within that community. But the community itself has a ton of value because we're looking forward to the day that all of our students, all of our, you know, tribe are working with each other in different cities all across the country, putting deals together and making money and having fun and being successful and realizing their dreams all through this platform that we created for them to, um, you know, be successful. And it seems a lot of these real estate courses, you know, have a fairly high entry fee and there are uh, missing a lot of the things that you just mentioned, especially, you know, how to find uh, money for deals and how to find contractors. And you're saying that they're going to have access to all these kinds of people within a subscription model? Yeah, absolutely. And that's what's, uh, what's funny is if you ask a, a wholesaler what they need more of, they're like, I need more investors. And if you ask an investor what they need more of, they're like, I need more deals. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you got two ends of the spectrum who need each other desperately. And then all these people around that, um, whether it's people that, you know, design, architecture, staging, real estate, or agents, um, traditional lenders, hard money lenders, private lenders, you know, some, we used wholesaling earlier, but a private lender is someone who's got more money than time. So they don't want to learn anything. They just want to deploy their capital in real estate with someone they trust. So the, you know, the best part about the community is you can come in there as uh, an expert and network with aspiring investors who need your help and can also provide value to you. And as an, uh, an aspiring investor, you can get in there and get an education, develop relationships, grow your network, and even find uh, a mentor in your local area. I know um, that even if we don't ever know about it and no one ever tells us that if, you know, if, uh, if a new, an aspiring investor in Phoenix, Arizona, stumbles upon, uh, you know, somewhat a professional in the same marketplace, that they're going to end up at a Starbucks having a coffee, and next thing you know, there's going to be a beautiful relationship formed out of that community. So, you know, it's really just about bringing all the different pieces to the puzzle together so that people get the education, they get the experience, they get the skills, uh, and they can network amongst each other and, you know, be successful and grow their business and, and reach their goals. But um, one thing I haven't touched on is – I talk about them being able to get experience, but how do you get experience without actually doing it? And what's really unique is because we are still doing projects every single month. You know, there's um, projects all over Atlanta and the rest of the country that either we are doing and or um, personal, professional friends and relationships that Peter and Brian have built over the years of successful um, flipping and, uh, and also, you know, people that are experts in the realm of uh, buy and hold and rental properties. Uh, we actually did a great um, Ask the Expert session uh, with one of our friends here in Atlanta who manages hundreds of um, single-family properties um, herself and through her business and then also has, um, you know, control over thousands of units through homeowners associations. So we bring this diverse mix, and what we're going to do is we're going to follow projects on an ongoing basis from beginning to end and give people unfiltered, behind the scenes, totally transparent access to information where instead of the, you know, highly produced, highly edited, highly scripted, you know, Hollywood version of what happens in 30 to 40 minutes, you're going to get start to finish over the course of, I don't care if it's a, a, a wholesaler doing a flip in one, you know, in 30 minutes from, from buyer to seller or someone who, you know, goes out, finds a property, finds financing, negotiates, it gets it under contract, does all the design, does all the build. It might take nine months to a year before it's finished and sold, but someone's going to literally be able to watch that process step by step all the wins, all the losses, all the mistakes, all the solutions. So they'll be able to get real world experience without deploying their own capital and, you know, taking those risks themselves. They can watch someone else take the risk and live, you know, vicariously through their experience 
But at some point, obviously, we know no one's going to make money if they don't actually do the deal themselves. But it will give them an added layer of, you know, experience that you can't get watching a television show. Definitely. I think there's a lot of us that watch these shows that think, you know, in 30, 40 minutes, he just made, you know, 70 to $100,000 on, on a flip. But the reality is there's a lot more that goes into it than that. And being able to see the mistakes, you know, in a, in a business kind of like that, you don't really want to learn from your mistakes. You want to learn from other people's mistakes. So it sounds like a great resource. Now, t tell me a little bit about the network, because you do have a great network here in Atlanta. Uh, tell me what that is and tell me how uh, you're going to expand uh, nationwide. Well, you know, because um, our business is here in Atlanta, obviously that's where the bulk of our really long-term strong relationships are and people that we do business with on a regular basis. But what people don't uh, realize is that because um, of the television show and because of their, you know, over a decade of experience, um, those relationships are all over the country and we have, um, you know, relationships with extremely successful investors that are just as successful as Peter and Brian um, in California and in Texas and in Arizona and up the East Coast and all through the Midwest. So we've already strategically reached out to these people and have, uh, you know, created some of an alignment where they're going to be involved in this community and they're going to be mentoring people and answering questions and doing, um, you know, as much as they can to help support this uh, this tribe or this community because they know that just like uh, it's happened here in Atlanta, that if they establish themselves as the authority and as the expert in those markets, that they're going to attract people who end up doing business with them too. So we've already been able to bring in, well, we're not paying anyone, no one's paying us. You know, we're not doing that kind of stuff, but we've, because of those relationships that are all over the country, have been able to bring in some really strong um you know, leaders within the industry that are extremely successful and are looking to really dive in and help out. Now, I know Peter does a lot of uh, coaching and mentoring, uh, at least from a teaching perspective, but has he been able to mentor people through the whole process of becoming investors himself? <laughs> That's funny. Well, he's, He's mentored me personally. Mm -hmm. He and Brian both have been huge resources um, after the experience with um, my father passing away and dealing with that, that rental headache or real estate headache. I don't know that I would have ever had the confidence uh, to dive back in. So uh, aside from me, uh, the answer is emphatically yes. You cannot um, find a person that does not absolutely – love Peter Pasternak that is that knows him personally, has met with him and spent time with him. The guy does like five to ten one on ones every single day, every and every day that ends with a Y. He's the hardest working person I know. He cares about people and he pours himself and adds value into people on a daily basis. That is his mission in life is to positively impact as many people as possible. So um he puts actions behind those words. And um, while I can't give you a list of, you know, people that he's personally mentored to become real estate investors, uh, I know the list is a mile long and uh, everybody that, you know, asks for, for Peter's help gets it. And, and that's what really excites me the most is that, you know, this is a platform that we can use to touch more people and to positively impact a, such a bigger audience than just the ones you can meet at Starbucks or a coffee. Mm. Well, we've covered a lot of information today. Danny, thank you for being with us. If there's one thing that we haven't touched on yet, that we haven't covered, that you really wanted to let our audience know about, what would that be? Um, I, I, I'm, I'm not going to give you the price, but let's just say that it is less than most people's Starbucks habit. <laughs> <laughs> um, for literally under $100 a month, someone can have access to all of these resources and all of this information and um, all of these assets and really um, focus the bulk of their resources and their um, efforts towards becoming an investor. We're just really excited about creating you know, a market-disrupting platform that um, empowers people to um, 
you know, to take control of their own financial uh, freedom and, and really reach for their goals and, and accomplish things that they otherwise never would have. So uh, we're really excited about it, and I appreciate you letting me talk about it today. Yeah, there's certainly a lot of information that uh, people can learn. I think it will give people the impetus to get off the the couch from watching TV and you know sign up and actually learn some stuff from people that are doing it every day and uh, get going and making a difference to their own lives. Now, Danny, tell me how people can get in touch with you and how they can learn more about the Investor's Blueprint. Um, I, you can email me at Denny at the investors com, and they can find more at our, um, more information at our website, the investors com. And then coming soon, one of the biggest, you know, programs that we're excited about rolling out is our, um, roundup for charity initiative, where we're going to give people an opportunity, um, to contribute to, um, one of three organizations. I've selected one. Peter selected one and Brian selected one. So they get to pick which one their money goes to, and then we are going to match that donation. So uh, it hasn't been implemented yet, but look for that coming soon. And I think that's about it for, uh, for me today. Well, thank you very much, Danny. Very exciting uh, times. Uh, something different in the real estate investing market. I appreciate you being my guest today. And uh, thank you to our audience for listening as well. If you like what you hear, please hit that like button and share. And we'll see you next time on the show. You've been listening to Business Authority Radio with Neil Howe and Greg Williams. To learn more about the resources mentioned in today's show or to listen to past episodes, visit businessauthorityradio.com.